today we are going to discuss the Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure which is uh, proposed by a well-known scientist and chemist, John Dalton. So according to Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure, the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressure of individual gases. So simply saying, if we have here a tank, and if we pull it, pull it with 40 kilopascal of He, okay, so for example, we fill the tank with He with 40 kilopascal as its pressure, and 50 50 kilopascal of Ne gas, the tank will be 90 kilopascal. So that is the simple analogy for the Dalton's law of partial pressure. The whole or the total pressure of a mixture of a gas is equal to the sum of this partial pressure of individual gases. So we solve this problem by different formulas. So here are the different formulas we use to solve the partial pressure. Next, uh, the first one is the total pressure is equals to P1 plus P2 and so on. It depends on the uh, number of given partial pressure. But we can also derive this formula. For example, if the unknown is P2, We'll just transpose P1. So, therefore, P2 is equals to uh, total pressure minus initial pressure of the uh, first gas. Next formula is this one. The total pressure is equals to um, N1 plus N2 multiplied by RT over B. So, here... We can say, or we will be using this formula if we have a given of mole, temperature, and volume. Okay? Next, or the last one. Initial pressure is equals to the chi times the uh, multiply by the total pressure. Okay? So, here for the last formula, we will be using this if we are... Uh, task to find the mole fraction. So, the given or just mole, number of mole, and then the final or the total pressure to find the specific partial pressure of a given gases. Okay, so let's try. Problem number one. Air is a mixture of many different gases, mainly nitrogen and oxygen. The total pressure is 101.3 kilopascal at the sea level. If the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas is 79.0 kilopascal at the sea level, what is the partial pressure of oxygen? So now, let's solve the problem number one using the Gressa method. Given, required, equation, solution, and answer. So, from the equation, the given R, the total pressure, which is 101.3 kilopascal, and the partial pressure of nitrogen gas, which is P and 2. So, sometimes we just need to put P1, but this time, I will suggest you will indicate the type of element. And then the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas is 79.0 kilopascal. So here we can say that the required or the unit that we need to find is the P or the partial pressure of oxygen. So P O2 is the unknown. The equation is P total is equals to P initial partial pressure and 
partial pressure of the second substance. But this time, we will derive the formula since the unknown is P2 or the partial pressure of oxygen. So, we will just, we will just transpose P1 in the right side to get the formula or derive formula for the unknown P2. So, the new formula is P2 is equals to uh, total pressure minus the partial pressure. What is the solution? We will just transpose the value of given in this equation. So, P2 The total is 101.3 kilopascal minus the initial, uh, partial pressure of the other element, which is N2, 79.0 kilopascal. Therefore, yan. Okay, so the partial pressure of oxygen gas is 22.3 kilo pascal so again according in dalton's partial pressure according to the dalton's law of partial pressure the partial pressure should be equal to the total pressure so 79 plus 22.3 that is 101.3 kilo pascal Problem number 2. 4.3 moles of hydrogen is mixed with 2.20 moles of oxygen gas in a 10 liter of 25 degree Celsius. What is the total pressure inside the tank? So as can you observe, um, we don't have a partial pressure but we are given a mole. So therefore, we will use the other formula in finding the total pressure with the given of moles. Okay, so now let's solve the problem number 2. So here in problem number 2, we have many given. Okay, so we have the N1 for the 4.30 mole of H2 N2 that will be for the mole of O2 which is 2.20 mole and we have a value for the volume the volume of the tank is 10.0 liter and the temperature is 25 Point zero degree Celsius. So as we can see, we cannot uh, solve this problem using the first formula. So we will be using this one, the equation for the final pre uh, the total pressure is equals to n one plus n two multiplied by RT over B. So, therefore, we'll be using the ideal gas law. So, since uh, we'll be using the ideal gas law, we have still a given for R, and R is 0 0.082 atmosphere times liter Divide by mole point uh, multiply by temperature which is Kelvin. So as we can see, temperature should be and converted into Kelvin because it is in degree Celsius. So just add two hundred seventy three point fifteen Kelvin. The new temperature will be 298.15 Kelvin. So, this will be the temperature we will be using. So, now, the required is the total 
pressure. Okay, so the total pressure is the unknown. Okay, so next is the solution. So solution, we will just transpose all the value to our formula. So final pressure is equal to the N1 which is 4.30 mole plus N2 which is 2.20 mole multiply by the R which R constant which is 0 0.082 atmosphere times liter over mole times Kelvin and multiply by the temperature. Temperature is 298.15. Okay? Divide by the volume, which is 10.0 liter. Therefore, the final answer Okay, so the final answer is, the total pressure is 15.86 um, atmosphere. Okay, so 4.30 4 plus 2.20 mole, that is 6.5. Yan. So, paano nga ba nakuha yan? So, 6.5 multiply by... Um, 0 0.082 times 298.15 divide 10 that will be 2.44 okay and then just multiply 6.5 to 2.44 we have 15.86 atmosphere the unit will be so it will be cancelled the atmosphere uh, liter uh, cancelled Kelvin is also cancelled and the atmosphere is our unit so this is the total so pressure. for the last problem we have 3.20 moles of helium gas and is mixed with 1.30 moles of neon gas and 3.64 moles of xenon gas if the total pressure of the gases is 435 kilopascal what is the partial pressure of the neon so as we can observe here in problem we cannot use the first formula the second formula because we are just finding the mole fraction here okay so for the whole 335 kilopascal we will find the partial pressure of neon by this given most of three gases present in that tank. Okay, so for the last one, we have a given of N1. N1 is equal to 3.20 mole of H2. Or hydrogen gas and 2 is 1.30 mole of Ne gas and for N3 we have 3.64 mole of xenon gas okay and we have a total of pressure which is 435 kilo pascal so in problem number three we are tasked to find the partial pressure of the gas neon okay so partial pressure of neon or NE is equals is the unknown NE. Okay? So rather NE. So what will be the equation? Uh 
Yes, or the equation or the formula we will be using. That will be the third formula, which is P. <clears throat> initial pressure is equals to chi of the initial pressure and then multiply by the total pressure. Okay? So, how can we find the value of chi? So, chi is equal to the number of mole divided by the total number of mole. Okay? So, therefore, if we are tasked to find the partial pressure of Ne or neon, we will be solving for the value of Ne for the chi. So, chi... Ne is equals to the mole of Ne in the problem is 1.30 mole. And the total, we will just add 3.20 plus 1.30 mole and 3.64 that is equal to 8.14 mole. So therefore, the value of chi of Ne gas is 0 0.160 so now we now have a value so therefore the formula will be the partial pressure of ne is equals to the chi value of ne multiplied by the total pressure just transpose the value pressure uh, final partial pressure of ne is equals to the chi which is 0 0.160 multiply by the total pressure which is 435 kilo pascal so the partial pressure of ne is yeah 69.6 kilo pascal okay so that will be the last Try problem to test your understanding for our topic about Dalton's law of partial pressure, you you try this uh, problem. So test yourself. 4.20 mole of xenon gas is combined with 1 mole of oxygen gas and 2.24 mole of carbon gas. If the total pressure of the gas is 505 pascal, what is the partial pressure of carbon? So please comment down what is the partial pressure of the carbon. Okay, so I will expect your answer in the comment box. Bye!